Number abbreviations. This is something a lot of scripters have to go through for stats and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it just like you see right now. All right, so let's abbreviate some numbers. So first, we're going to need a few module scripts that are a part of the core packages service. You can't access it directly from Roblox Studio, but you can. They are installed on your computer. So let's just get them from our computer. So if you're on Windows, go to the bottom left and type in Roblox Player and open the file location to get to that Roblox folder. But if you're on Mac, you're just going to need to do the same thing to get to that folder. But I'll show you what you need to do when we get there. So. Let's do Roblox player, open file location, and then open file location again here for the shortcut, and then go to the extra content folder, Lua packages, and then type in number, and then you'll see a lot of .lua files. You're going to want to copy and paste the number localization.lua, it's 8.79 kilobytes. So copy and paste all of this into a module script in your uh, game. I'm just going to insert a module script here in replicated storage and copy and paste this. All right. So a face value, you're not going to be able to uh, use it because it uses things like core, uh, like core packages. So we're going to need to comment a few lines out. So we're going to need to comment. This line out, uh, we're going to need to comment the logging line out, the logger. We're going to need to comment out the fast flags, keep rounding behavior, and then we're going to go down to the flash, uh, fast flags on line 257. Just comment out this entire if statement right here or delete it all, doesn't matter and then comment out this other if statement down here with the logging at line 304 and then comment out the logger at the end. Now we're also going to need two more uh, module scripts. So let's get those other two. So we need to go back into our folders and instead of number, we're going to need to search in uh, rounding behavior or just rounding pretty sure that'll do it. Yep, rounding behavior. Open that up. Copy and paste this into a module script. I'm gonna hurry up and rename this. And then just create a new module script. Where's the... Uh, And then we're also going to need the enumerate, which basically creates custom enums. And that is also in the core packages as well. So let's get that. And you'll get a lot of enumerates and a lot of them are just like references to the original one. So you're going to want to scroll until you find the one that is 2.97 kilobytes. This one right here. And this has the actual source code. The other ones just have references, but get the one that's size is uh, 2.97 kilobytes. Copy and paste this into the next module script. Call it enumerate, enumerate. And then just copy and paste it in. So now we have all of our module scripts. I'm just going to name them the names they have inside of the scripts. Okay, so we have all of our module scripts. Um, the references are going to be different. So, and the number localization, um, we have require script parent rounding behavior. We have that. Okay, enumerate is by itself, but up here. Instead of it being from core packages, it'll just be script.parent.enumerate. So there's that. Now we actually have the enumerate. Okay. Now let's test this out. So let's go, let's create a UI. And we'll insert a local script and we'll just say whenever we update it, we'll check if it's a number and we'll abbreviate it. 
So the number localization has a um, it has a function that abbreviates according to whatever number it is with some settings, and it has the locale info for every single language, which is kind of nice. Um, but we'll just be focusing on the abbreviate function. Oh, one thing I forgot. Um, comment the fast flag if statements out as well. You don't want to use those. Well, they're no more. Okay. And then for here, you want to add in num significant digits equals num significant digits or three. Okay, and then that's that for number localization. So I'll go to your local script, type in, well, we'll reference the text box. And we're going to need to get the rounding behavior and the number localization. So let's get those. Okay, so we're going to need to make an event Whenever we lose focus of the text box, then we'll update it and abbreviate it. So here's what that looks like. Okay, so we have our connection. Um, what this basically does is whenever we type in a new number, we'll check if it actually is a number and then we'll update the text and abbreviate it according to our locale. Um, right now it's nil because the default locale is um, our native language in English. Um, but if you want another language, you can type in the locale that's in, one of, that's in this list. Like say if I wanted this language right here, I just type in this instead of English. And then yeah. Um, this is just the number of significant digits. If you want more, you can type in more, but it doesn't really do much. But yeah, so when we play the game <coughs> and we update it, you'll see that it'll have um, new sort of abbreviations. And this is also used in my um, playlist UI, but here you see it's zero. Okay, now what about 1000? Okay, now it's 1K. Now what about a super big number? Okay, and you get all of those. So that is what how you use the number lo localization. Um, right now they only go up to a billion, but if you wanna add more, um, you can just add them inside this uh, table here. So if I wanted a trillion, pretty sure a trillion's e to the 12, and I could give it its abbreviation, and then Oops, and then I have a trillion. So yeah, that's how you abbreviate numbers. Um, hope you guys like this. You guys can cop all of these module scripts um, from the links in the description. Use these, pop these in. You don't have to go through your folder or whatever. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, have a good day. Peace.